Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely T 2002. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. So, welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! So I want to come on here and talk about these two. I believe they're now an official Dragon Ball T episode, okay, on my YouTube channel and podcast. The two that I'm talking about is Eliza Rain and rapper Future Hendrix, okay? So what's going down is this. These fools have been going back and forth ever since Eliza Rain found herself purposely getting knocked up by Future. Um, About a year and a half ago is when she first, you know, hit the scene publicly. So what's going down is this. Basically, Eliza Rain and four other of Future's baby mamas, they came together like Voltron, and they decided to DNA test their children to see if they were actually siblings because Future refused to give them a DNA test. So, of course, you know, in my Mori voice, you are the damn father, Future. It came back, and that DNA test has now been, you know, used in court against him. So, earlier this month, after the DNA tests were confirmed that rapper Future did indeed father um, Eliza Rain's daughter, Eliza Rain is now suing Future. OK, she's suing him for calling her a liar. And according to other reports, she's also suing Future for for libel, slander and emotional distress. OK, um, she says that Future has publicly called her crazy, called her a gold digger, threatened to kill her if she didn't have an abortion. We don't know what the specific, you know, damages that she's looking to get, but she's definitely looking for some damn money. OK, so once this story broke on the Internet that Eliza Rain was suing him, when I tell you, honey, Future, who really don't have a lot of room to talk bitch he got his feelings basically called eliza rain ugly i said oh damn the audacity <laughs> so basically future was like you know what meek so you think that you're mr twitter fingers hold this baby bottle because you know he has a lot of baby bottles to, you know to spare so he told meek hold this baby bottle matter of fact you can use this baby bottle to go feed your own baby who was just born and you won't stop damn tweeting so anyways while meek was off you know feeding his little son Future jumped on Twitter and decided to be Twitter fingers. And this is what Future had to say. So Future says, people make up lies to make they self feel good. Leave them ugly girls alone. Don't get high and treat an ugly girl pretty. Huge mistake. Ugly girls be in imaginary relationships. I told my dog, learn from you. You act just like you look. Caught me slipping. Okay, so what? I'm from Murder Block, 2-2 Kirkwood. You act just like you look. You was really, really lucky. Relax. You crying over shoe money when you could have just asked for it? Relax. <laughs> Future has absolutely no shame, okay? He seems to think that his money makes him cute. And maybe it does to some of y'all. Future to me is very plain. Um, I, I've never lusted over Future. The only thing I can say that I like on Future is his height and maybe his dreadlocks. And that's about it. Okay. So, of course, once word got back to Eliza Rain that her baby's father was clowning her and basically telling the world that she was ugly. She ran to go do what she does best, which is go to Instagram and rant. So this is what Eliza Rain had to say. Eliza said, in all seriousness, as women, we must stick together and stand strong against abuse of any kind. I'm not perfect. I'm a work in progress. We all are. But we all are beautiful, even when we fall short of other people's expectations. Beauty is shown the best from the inside. Don't let no one, man or woman, make you feel less than or that you don't deserve everything you have prayed for. Then she goes on to say this. War is not cute. I don't want to wake up to filings and lawsuits daily, especially over an innocent child. I miss the peace that I once had, but I also have to do what I have to do to defend myself and my children. In America, we need to get over this culture of us women accepting abuse in silence because you are a woman or you have less fame, power and money. You should just shut up. We are stronger than we know. So that came from the desk of Eliza Rain. But now let's keep it real. Okay, I don't feel bad for Eliza Rain. Eliza Rain is a messy ass chick. She's come onto the scene messy and miserable from day one. And she's done way too much looking for attention. And the worst part of it all is the fact that 
She knew this man had other children. He wasn't claiming several of those children. She watched Joey. Uh, she watched uh, Joey Chavez go through it. She watched Brittany Malay go through it. She watched all these women before her go through it with Future, only for her to have no problem purposely getting pregnant, you know, and um, having his sixth or seventh child. I forget what line, you know, what line she's in in the Baby Mamas, um, and then wanted to play victim. You know, I've done videos talking about her, you know, trying to play victim when you knew the type of guy that you were getting into a relationship with. Does that absolve future of his bullshit? Absolutely not, because I've definitely held him to task. They were both guilty in this stupid game that they're playing. And the main person that they're both affecting is a little girl, their daughter, who did not ask to be here. OK, now let's keep it real. I know a lot of people are offended because Future called her ugly and things like that. But Future is not the first person to say this. OK, many people on social media have said that she's the ugly baby mama and things like that. This is my issue with what Future is doing and the things that he's saying. And I feel like this is the real reason why Future is dragging her. OK, you know, let's keep it real. Social media has been quite her the ugly baby mama out of all the future baby mamas. A lot of people on social media have always drug Eliza Rain's looks, okay? Just because her body's on point and she's gotten liposuction and, you know, implants and all that stuff, people have always, you know, talked about her face. You know, some people find her cute, but a lot of people on social media have always talked about her looks and not in a good way. That's keeping it 100, okay? Now, this is how I really feel about this situation. I feel like if Eliza Rain looked like Lori Harvey or Joey Chavez or even Brittany Malay or Sierra, you know, she was either light or mixed or, you know, racially ambiguous or even had some type of real career, he would not be going hard at her like he does he would have just taken his little l felt some type of way and just moved on okay because when when joey was dragging him and when britney was dragging him i never one time heard him call them ugly so i find that very suspect i've always felt for a while i've been calling this out for a while now that future has a disdain for her because she is a dark-skinned woman okay I feel like Future doesn't mind having all these kids because if he did, he wouldn't be fucking anybody raw. She already admitted that they never use condoms ever. So if you're purposely, you know, raw dogging somebody, you know, there's a potential that you can get that person pregnant. So if you feel like that person is not worthy enough or pretty enough or whatever to be your baby's mother, then why are you smashing her? That says more about you than even her. OK, because you're the millionaire in this situation. You're the one with something to lose, not her. So obviously you don't respect your sperm enough to say, you know what, in the event she gets pregnant, I'm not really feeling her like that. Let me not even play around. He didn't have enough respect for himself to use a condom. And the whole time he's smashing somebody else because literally his last four children, they were all born within the same year. That is a disgrace. How many women were getting pregnant by this man around the same time and he was using no condoms with any of them. All of these women are lucky that the only thing they got out of this nasty situation is a child and not HIV. Moving on. So I feel like deep down inside, Future does not care how many baby mothers he has. As long as they're what social media consider badass, you know, yellow bones or red bones. You know what I'm saying? As long as they're females that social media and society, you know, worship and go gaga over, he's not tripping. Okay? Look how much social media jocks Lori Harvey. That's why he goes so hard for her. Lori Harvey is beautiful. Beautiful body, beautiful face, very cute girl. He goes hard for her, drops roses at her feet, you know, just all types of stuff. He still ain't shit. He still cheats on her. But, he, you know, he went really hard for, for Lori Harvey while their relationship lasted. So I noticed one thing about Future is that he's never talked bad or, you know, went in on any of these women's features. As long as they look like, you know, Joey or Lori. He's never went in on their looks. And even though Lori's not a baby's mother, I'm just using her as an example. Um... His last baby's mother, well, the one that we know for now, I'm sure there's a baby mama number nine and 10 coming down the pipeline. But Cindy Renee was just as messy as Eliza Rain. She's the one who hooked up with Eliza Rain and they were doing live streams together and, you know, having their babies meet through the live stream and, you know, hooking up with the other women to set up this whole DNA test. Why does he not drag Cindy Renee as much as he drags Eliza Rain? I've never heard him call Cindy Renee ugly. I've never heard him cuss her out and say that she was messy. Like, where's the same energy? Like, Cindy's just as messy as Eliza Rain and just as stupid, okay? How do you come in at baby mama number seven? Like, literally, their kids are like two months apart. 
I mean, the whole situation is just insane. But I notice he doesn't have that same energy. And I believe that Future is definitely a colorist. And the sad part is he's just as dark as Eliza Rain. So what's the issue? You're not light skin yourself, Future. And the sad thing is he did the same thing to Sierra. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.